How's it going, guys? My name is Mutemwa, and I'm a photographer based here in Nairobi, Kenya. So, guys, the image we have on our screen is the image that we'll be retouching today. And if you can check right here in Lightroom, uh, this is Lightroom 2023, and uh, I corrected this the and uh, the raw image, and this the corrected image. I always use Lightroom. I haven't been conversant with Capture One, that's why I use Lightroom. And I've been using Lightroom for the first four years, and trust me, guys, I'm okay with it. So. I corrected this image these are how it looked raw and now these are how it looked edited uh color corrected and i just went ahead and proceeded to uh lightroom because the tutorial today is all about retouching not color correcting now you can see we are here in lightroom and the first thing we need to do we need to even the model skin tones because the reason we even skin tones guys if you can check well we have some yellow patches and just we have an even uh, colors and we are going to do global dodge and burn micro dodge and burn uh, even skin tone frequency separation and removing blemishes and the color grading and guys let's get into this video uh in this video we will also incorporate ai that's in artificial intelligence in the in this uh retouching process so that our process will be faster and uh perfect so let's go the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to even the skin tones the reason I even skin tones is to remove this some if funny patches on the model's skin. I want it to have a very uh, smooth skin, have an even skin. So I'll come to my action and run the even skin tone action. Now for the even skin tone action, we're only using gradient map. Now what we do for a uh, for an image, an image for an for a nice skin tone, the image has to have shadows, highlights. And midtones, and that's normal. Images have shadows, highlights, and midtones. Now, what I'll do, I'll come here to the gradient uh, map, uh, gradient scale, or gradient editor, and then I'll pick on the brightest part of the gradient, and that's the highlights. And then I come here and select the, on the highlights. Uh, perfect. Select here the midtones, the area between the shadows and the highlights. That the midtones, and I pref I believe this the midtones, and then come here to the highlights and select the highlights. That's the highlights. For me okay and okay now remember we don't need it in every part of the skin we only need it on specific parts of the skin that's the, the we only need it on the skin only not the eyes the teeth the mouth and the hair so we only need it on the skin so I'll just control i to invert this and you can see we have the uh skin tone on every part even the background what i'll do i'll come here and pick a black a black brush no more brush and make sure the foreground color is black and then hardness it at zero and a uh, smoothness at zero and flow 100 and opacity of 100 and then i'll just press this to create a layer mask uh press i'll press stroke key on my keyboard to create a mask and make sure you press x on my keyboard to make sure the foreground color is black and just remove it on the areas of your model where you really don't want it to be and i'm removing it as fast as possible so that it can be we we won't take so much on this tutorial trying to make it as fast as possible and yep okay now this is looking amazing as i said we involving artificial intelligence to make these images to retouch the image as fast as possible so let's go i'm removing it from the air the anywhere we, we really didn't want it to appear the colors to appear because we only need the colors on the skin not on the mouth the fabric and everything so and Boom, and we are done, guys. We are done. You can see the difference. What I come, I'll go ahead and reduce the opacity of the color so that we just have the even skin tones. But I need to get perfect tones on the image. So I go back to my even skin tone action, run it again, but go to my gradient uh, editor and select uh, legacy gradient and select the photographic toning. Guys, for you to get the perfect colors with photographic toning, you only need to use a paid version of Photoshop. That's what I can say. So I'll come here and select uh this uh photo this uh sapia addict and that's the only one i use for all my images then say okay 
let's say okay and let's press alt in your keyboard and drag this up here like that and trust me you'll get an amazing color on your model skin tones so far so good let's reduce the opacity of these two uh, let's say 16 and that's perfect i'll just merge everything together and create a copy control j and then now start this let's call this blemishes okay now for blemishes i'll use my uh, artificial intelligence that's ai which is retouch for me to remove all the blemishes for my image now you can see we have uh, some funny blemishes on the model skin so i'll just go to my filter retouch for me and then retouch for me heal this removes all the blemishes and i'll select the uh uh headshot one because the our image is an headshot so you can see we have auto uh headshot uh medium shot and full i'll select the headshot just like that guys we have removed all the blemishes on our model's face just wait for it to load guys as you can see before and after before and after you can see we have removed all the blemishes on our model's face the most disturbing blemishes on our model's face but remember the model had this uh beauty spot so what i'll do i'll do i'll create a layer mask here and then pick my brush make sure it's a uh a soft brush or past 100 floor 100 and just remember where the there, there it was let me see where the other one was there and let me see where the other one was and here is where the beauty so i just returned the beauty spot automatically you can see this is really looking nice let's just recover them as much as possible because the model always wants the beauty spots to be there now what i have so far looks nice so i'll control shift and uh, e to create now a matched layer with the blemish removal so what i need to do i need to remove uh, this, uh, this, uh, be, this loves, this, uh, love lines here because I just want to, before I do, uh, the, uh, dodge and burn, I only want my image to have a very clean skin because I, I want the dodge and burn to do its work perfectly. And uh, for the dodge and burn, it's micro dodge and burn, but I won't do it automatically. I won't do it manually. I'll just do it automatically with artificial intelligence. So, yeah. So I like how the image is looking right now. So I'll just control J once and let's call this dodge and burn. Dodge and burn. Perfect. So what I'll, I'll do, I'll come here to my uh, filter, retouch for me and select dodge and burn. And as I said, I'll, for the for the dodge and burn, I need because I'll just select the medium because I need to retouch even the background. So let's select medium and we'll, let's wait for it to process. Perfect. Now, guys, uh, we have uh, we have retouched our image with uh, dodge and burn. Guys, if you look at this image perfectly, you might think we have already done uh, frequency separation, but we just did uh, dodge and burn to just perfecting. What you guys don't know, or what you guys understand, is when you perfectly blend our shadows and highlights perfectly in your Photoshop, you get a well retouched image and that's what dodge and burn does to our image but remember not every single part let me, let me show you how, how much the uh dodge and burn has done so you can see before and after this image already is looking nice but the parts where dodge and burn hasn't worked now i'll go to frequency separation and i'll do the frequency separation and color grading manually because that's the final step of our retouching so what i do control shift alt and e to create a merge layer and then i come to my actions everybody i believe everybody knows how to create a retouch for me actions or retouch for me layers so i'll come here and select basic uh frequency separation not retouch for me frequency separation layer so i'll come here and select retouch frequency separation uh action and i'll 
just used a value of uh, five because guys remember or six because remember my aperture when shooting this image was so low so the sharpness wasn't so high but we have a very beautiful soft image so let's go okay perfect so i'll create a black and white on top of this so that i can identify the shadows and highlights perfectly and then i'll select on the low layer select my mixer brush right here and make sure it's a soft brush uh clean after every stroke clean brush make sure it's clean brush and it cleans after every stroke witness 10 lot 75 mix 90 and flow 100 and make sure this is at zero and sambu all layers is not selected and let's just brush this as fast as possible because uh free doge and burn had already perfected the image perfectly we don't need to uh do so much on this image so yep perfect yes i like now how everything is coming along perfectly so frequent separation just for blending everything now perfectly not just i I just use it to just blend everything as smooth as possible or as perfectly as possible because frequency separation and dodge and burn and already done everything for us so when you take your images perfectly it will always works for you now I like how this is looking and done guys we are done with frequency separation and that's how fast you can do frequent separation if you have already micro dodged and burned your image. So uh, the next thing I'll, I'll need to do, I'll control shift cut and T and now go to uh, color grading. Now how I color grade, I'll color grade the hair alone, but I only use, because our image already has very nice skin tone, I just need to perfect the skin tone. So I'll go to selective color and then on the reds, remember our skin, our skin has reds and yellow. So uh, go to selective color and on the reds push the cyans to this side and push the yellows to this side slightly not so much and come here on the yellows push the cyans to this side and push the yellows on this side slightly just not so much because we just need to balance negative six let's go back to reds and let's bring the cyans back slightly and let's reduce the yellows slightly at that point now i feel what i have right now here is looking really yeah before and after before and after now after that i'll just reduce the let's reduce this the opacity of the selective color as low as possible and come back here and go to gradient map and remember the gradient map we always use is the legacy gradients and go to photographic toning and always select the sapia antique that works perfect for my skin tones and come here and change this to uh, soft light you can change it to color but i prefer changing to soft light and reduce the opacity to as low as possible as low as possible okay now that's perfect for me now the next thing i need to make sure it pops is the color of the hair so what i need to do i go to u and saturation and select color yellow and let's push this as high as possible and then control i to invert and then pick your brush make sure it's a, a soft brush flow of 100 and opacity of 100 and let's paint it on the hair like this make sure the foreground color is white let's paint it on the air like this so that the air pops as much as possible because we add this like uh gel color gel color gel with the light backlight like that now this already looks nice so control shift and i and e to create a matte layer and come here to your actions run the eye and teeth whitening zoom in your image slightly mostly on the let's, let's use slow this slightly and let, now let's whiten the eyes and guys you can see we only add one light as you can see this amazing catch light on our model slide because we just stored a look up 
on the eyes and remember i'm using a very high megapixel camera so the image is really uh looking very nice and you can see at f2.5 you can see the details of the skin are looking amazing so guys uh yeah we are done and that's all that's all that's all that's all uh now let me let's see the before let's put everything in a group put everything in a group and let's call this workflow workflow perfect so this is the before this is before we did anything on this image and this after we have done uh frequent separation don't and man color grading on this image and it looks amazing uh before before after before and after Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I'm glad. I hope you learned something. If you want the retouch for me, I can connect you on our way how you can buy it. And or you can, if you want the retouch for me, just DM me. And guys, see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to this amazing channel. See you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace out.